Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so as requested, we're going to be doing a dirty pour through a colander upside down. Actually, I just slid. This is not going to be a dirty pour, it's going to be a clean pour. Um, and I am going to cover the corners here real quick. Um, someone did request that I do a rainbow pour. So I'm going to actually try this on this one. Okay, so just for fun, let's go ahead and start with black. Alright, it is school time. It's how kids are walking to school right now. I'm doing this early in the morning because I haven't had time otherwise. And I'm not going to just pour it here. I want to pour some elsewhere as well. So let's try. Just for fun. This is going to be really messy. Because, <laughs> you know, you and I are all curious of what this is going to do. Yeah, I don't feel like pouring it down the sides really does that much, guys. Just so you know, but could be wrong. It could also be the kind of colander I have because it has these legs here that kind of stop it, you know, so it can't go down the sides by itself. And I also could not tell at all how much paint I've, <laughs> where, where we're at. Let me see if I can lift this up real quick. Okay. It looks cool. I'm going to put a little more. i go ahead with some more, a little more black. I'm actually going to let this sit here for like a minute and everything go down. So I'll be right back. Okay, while we were waiting, I spread out the black with my fingers. So here we go. This is definitely a messier way to do it. I will say that. Alright, that is pretty intense. <laughs> It's like a kaleidoscope. <laughs> um, I don't know about you, I'm not super fond of that pattern. Um, let's go ahead and tilt it out a little bit. Very windy again today. I'm going to say something that will offend like half the world. Anyways, <laughs> it's it's been pretty cold, you know. It's been about 60 degrees. <laughs> 70 degrees. Uh, right now it's like 40, 45 degrees, but only for about a minute. In a couple hours it will be 70. <laughs> okay well this is definitely interesting I could probably sit here and do this about all day um, I think I'm going to try what I did the, the previous time I'm going to put a block under it and then I'm going to let it sit for a while and see especially now that we have the paint on the corners and stuff I'm going to see if that works this time. Let's go ahead and do that. Try to figure out like the best ways to maintain the 
design, right? Okay, good. We'll be back. Okay, so it is moving a bit on its own. Um, I think the paint is a little too thick to move ideally, though. I didn't really water it down a little bit extra like I normally do. Um, so I am going to go ahead and tilt. We'll see what happens. I think I can still maintain quite a bit of this pattern. Although, to be perfectly honest, I'm not super fond of the pattern. <laughs> so, you know, if I lose, lose some of it, that's okay too. I'm going to run it off over here. That's cool. I just tend to like it more after tilting. That is the way it is. So I also definitely did not get like the rainbow <laughs> effect I was going for. That's okay. And yes, I did put black on the corners, but it just isn't fitting for me. So, you guys say I always post perfect videos. Well, in my mind, maybe not so much. Alright, let's see how this looks. Anyways, despite everything, I think this is pretty. The word I would use would start with a B. B A T C H I N. Anyways, it's pretty cool. I really like it. I uh, will go ahead and go in for the close up in just a minute. Alright, go ahead in for the close up here. This is definitely a primary color painting. The uh, colors, I mean, well, there's definitely green in here. I will say that. There's definitely, definitely green in here and some purple. This is kind of a rainbow portion, but otherwise, it's pretty much red, yellow, and blue. Um, definitely some cool kind of lacing over here. There's a geode corner. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I really like this pattern. It reminds me of like, I don't know, like a billion flower petals on the ground or something. Then we got our little rainbow over here. And then our kind of awkward center. <laughs> there you have it. This is an upside down colander pour. So I will say overall I like the other colander pour better. The regular right side up. Because I, I think because I feel like I have more control over it. Over the pattern. Um, this one I like. I'm like I can't tell at all what it looks like until I pull it off. Um, but anyways. Don't forget to subscribe. Please like this video and we'll see you next time.